We prepared pretty well for this tournament. We played three days a week for about eight hours. And we entered an ESL tournament as well like on the Sunday. And we were just basically focusing on expanding our champ pool and adapting to the meta. So we just thought we'd come here and prepare a little bit more than all the other teams. Whilst the patch was being, um, whilst the patch was patched before the day of the tournament. So we thought we'd just prepare by trying to adapt a lot faster. We kind of, we didn't have a name. Nobody really knew who we were. Like we're all like brand new players. Like apart from maybe Proper Panda, he's quite well known in the UK scene. But every, maybe Milk Yard. But everyone else is just like like high tier UK players that no one knows about. And I just wanted to make like a dark horse team that would come in and people were like. Ooh. But, Going into the event, the team was, they knew what they had to do. It was just a case of getting here and trying to beat the expectations of a lot of teams. Because a lot of people said Aerox are nothing, they've come from nothing online, and they, they won't show up at LAN. And we, we've come to the event and we've just really proved that what we've put into place, you know, it only shoots better for the future. We can put more into it. You know, this, this, this now gives the team a lot of dedication themselves and motivation to push forwards. Uh, going into the future, obviously it's nothing but benefits now for this team. You know, they have the motivation, they have everything behind them, and they not only have like everything going from, the, from this event, but from ourselves, uh, we we're going to give so much more to these players and so much more time that we possibly can. Like, we would pull in like two-hour sleep sessions every day for two weeks running up to this event.